After a long wait, the first part of Manifest Season 4 is finally on Netflix. The 10-episode long first part shocked us. As one of the fans' favorite characters, Zeke sacrificed himself for the greater good. The crew realized that Cal is the dragon, meaning he is the key to saving humanity. But since Cal had cancer, he was about to die before Zeke realized he had the power to absorb Cal's pain. And that's what he did. He sacrificed himself to let Cal be alive and save humanity in the future. This is not the only shocking thing that happened in the first part of the season. We also saw Angelina acquiring a dangerous power. She absorbed the powers of the Omega Sapphire that allowed her to control callings. Of course, she showed immediately that she was not the right person to hold such power in her hands. The team realized the long-awaited death date of June 2, 2024 wasn't just for Flight 828 passengers, but for the whole world. The date is for the apocalypse that will see the end of the world. The team must fight off Angelina to stop the impending doom. And the only one who has the power to do that is Cal, who has a sapphire embedded in his dragon scar. So in the second part of the final season, we will see a great showdown between Angelina and Cal. Will he be able to stop Angelina and the death date, or will the team die with the rest of the world? This is the big question that Manifest Season 4 Part 2 will have to address. The things we know about Part 2 are limited but still should not be overlooked. We know that the second part of the season will start after a time jump. This time jump will be a few months long, but it means that the crew will be closer to the death date. Also, thanks to the show's producer, Jeff Rake, we now know more about Angelina's motivations. According to Rake, Angelina believes that she is supposed to save the righteous. We've talked somewhat about the Noah myth and Noah's Ark, and that continues to become a big part of our mythology in the final 10 episodes. Angelina, spoiler alert, will come to believe that she is effectively Noah. She and her family are basically the only people who deserve to board the Ark, whatever that may be, as we approach the death date. So it's up to Ben, Mick, and perhaps mostly Call to defeat Angelina as we make our way into the final block. The problem is that Angelina becomes increasingly powerful. We saw how powerful she was right there in episode 410, and that's only gonna get worse. Thanks to Rake, we also know there is a possibility of a love story between Michaela and Jared in the upcoming 10 episodes. Perhaps because of the time jump, Michaela will have moved on from her husband's death and will start a new story with Jared, who already thinks she is the love of his life. And Rake says Michaela will not help but have feelings for Jared because of their history and will question when she is ready to move on romantically. Not much is known about the second part of the final season. We know that it will also have 10 episodes. As for the release date, we're expecting a summer 2023 release because the production for the second part has recently ended. The first part of the season came out seven months after the end of production. If the same happens, we will see the final 10 episodes in late May or early June of 2023. As for the trailer, we will most likely see it in the spring of 2023. Lastly, the cast of the second part is expected to be pretty much the same except for Matt London, who played Zeke. We hope the following cast members to return. Josh Dallas as Ben Stone, Melissa Roxburgh as Michaela Stone, Ty Duran as Cal Stone, Luna Blaze as Olive Stone, Ramirez as Jared Vasquez, Harveen Cower as Sion V. Bahal, Daryl Edwards as Vance, Garrett Waring as T.G. Morrison, and Holly Taylor as Angelina. Are you excited for the second part of Manifest's final season? Let us know your expectations for the series final in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you soon.